Today is the day you have made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I'm so excited. It's donut day. I'm eating some donuts. I'm getting some donuts. Who's eating donuts today? I'm eating donuts today. It's donut day. It's donut day. Today is donut day. I'm so excited. Donut day requires dunking coffee. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is TwoCrazyKetos.com. <gasps> and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we taste something like this, you'll be alerted to it. It's... Peanut butter jelly time. <laughs> peanut butter jelly time. Where are you at? Where are you at? <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with us? Lots of things. Oh, welcome to Two Crazy Ketos. Uh, we've got a repeat. This is from Crave Bakery. We recently did a review on their donuts, and they were amazing. I mean, super cakey, super delicious. We didn't try these, though. Clean ingredients. They're based down here in Mount Dora, Florida, which is about two hours away. I am planning a camping trip to get over there, to get in there. And so we will definitely bring our camera and try to interview them. Yes. After putting up that video. They have savory stuff too. They sent us some savory stuff. So we've actually got this video and then in another video in a vlog, we're going to do their last product. So what we have here is some, these are not, I'm glad these, they're specifying this. These are not bagels. Right. But they're not biscuits. They're bagel biscuits. They're bagel biscuits. Because when I think about, I'm from New York. So when I think bagel, there's, that's a hard criteria. Well, because it's not just a flavor. It's also a mouthfeel. It yes. is a, an entire mouthfeel. We have gotten bagels here in South Florida. that you are like, that's not a bagel. Yeah. Because it's not a New York bagel that you're used to. Yeah. And when you think of keto bagel, there's really no way that you're ever going to duplicate that real bagel thing. So I like the fact that they're saying this is a bagel biscuit, which... Judging by just seeing them and holding one in my hand because smelling I heated it. it up and smelling it, it's kind of like the shape of a bagel and like a cross of texture between a bagel and a biscuit. But we're right. going to taste one right now. We have three different flavors. We're only going to taste one because right after we're done with this, we're going to... Texas Roadhouse. Texas Roadhouse. So we got to save some room for our steak. Oh, I've always got room. We got cheddar habanero and everything and garlic mozzarella. I love everything. It's always my favorite, but habanero. That's the one we've been the most like wondering. I what like it jalapeno. Like. I like anything spicy. So here we go. This is what it looks like. So the bottom almost looks a little bit like a cakey donut. Yeah. Right? So. Mm. Oh wow! It smells like a bagel. I mean, the entire house smells so stinking good because you toasted this one. I toasted it, but I didn't cut it in half and toast it. So we're gonna try it two different ways. We're gonna try a little bite like this. Okay. It, do I see like onions in there? I see like pieces of onion in there. Oh. Now we have not looked at the ingredients yet. So dink. dink it. Yep. Oh. Wow, it's got a kick. It's got a kick. But in the best, the best way. I can eat a dozen of these. Oh my gosh. Yes. Now it is a muffin consistency. They're absolutely right. It's more of a muffin. Wow. So. I'm going to say that's a pretty good bagel. Wouldn't you slice it, though, and put, like, meat or, like, a hamburger or something in the so middle of that? So, it, it, it kind of, it's very, it's dense, yeah. but it's not falling apart like a biscuit. But wow. it definitely has a little bit of that bagel texture it that is. I was... I'm getting sweaty. I'm excited about this. Yeah. I mean, we may be placing an order for these. Yeah. I, I know, like, I'm always like, I don't need bread, but... 
This, this would These be, are delicious. I'm thinking like holiday time. So we got a little bit of chef's chamois French onion butter on here. I didn't think it could get better, but it can. Wow. Right? Like this is stinking awesome. You mm. know what else I want to do? Make, Those onions. I want to make chili and pour it on top of that. That is good. That is good. Mm -hmm. That is really, this one's got a kick. I want to try the other ones, but I'm going to save them. Because I'm still impressed by that. I'm thinking if you're having like a breakfast get together and you know there's people that are keto there or even yourself or like a holiday. Oh, yeah. I mean, those are just awesome. So this is peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter and jelly donut. And again, their donuts are cakey. And there is a ring of peanut butter, and there's peanuts on here. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm probably, if the peanut butter is good, going to be licking this. Okay. Yeah, but wait until you see this. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Watch this. No. Oh, my gosh. There's actual jelly inside of it. So it is a... It is a donut. I broke the bottom in half, but it is a donut wow. that has been sliced in half with peanut butter and jelly How on the inside. How sweet is that? Is that awesome? That is awesome. Okay, that is awesome. I thought it was going to be see, just Anthony, like- Anthony, Anthony's missing the wrong taste test right now. Right? He seriously is. I'm glad I'm in on this one. Wow. Okay. Want to dink it? It's got peanuts all over it. Mm. Wow. I never knew how much I missed peanut butter and jelly until just now. It's childhood. There's childhood in there. I want to dink it, though. I mean, not dink it, but dunk it. Um, wait, I'm going to have to join you on that. It held up to the dunk, which is good. I never realized how much I missed peanut butter and jelly till right now. Mmm. That's really good. That is phenomenal. You know what? It almost tastes like when you dunk it, like a like waffle peanut what butter and jelly pancakes. Weekend? Going to Mount Dora. Let's go to Mount Dora. Agreed. I wonder if we can get into which which one Korshan State Park. That's the one that's right next to them, right? Let's try. Let's get in there. Let's just try. Okay. Five things. Five things. A light five things. Five things. If you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We talk about the ingredients, does it keto based on our nutrition label, how does it taste, how much does it cost, and finally, would we recommend it? We have done this on Crave before. I'll leave a link for that video down below if you haven't seen it. Mm -hmm. Really quickly, let's go over the ingredients. We'll start off with the cheddar habanero. Here we go. Egg, organic coconut oil, organic coconut flour, flaxseed cheddar, uh, which is milk, cultures, salt, enzymes, annatto for color, onions, which are minced. They're delicious. Baking powder, <laughs> gelatin, apple cider vinegar, salt, and baking soda. The gelatin is their secret. Yeah, because you that, get is that what mouth is making filled. these so good. Those are clean ingredients. I mean, that is like home bake clean ingredients. And you can check out all their nutrition facts on their website. Everything is on their website. Every flavor is on their website. And, and I'm super happy. We're going to talk about this when we get to the ingredient to the nutrition label. But the ingredients on where are they? The peanut butter and jelly. I just saw them. I feel like it was down lower. There peanut it is. butter and jelly. There is egg, organic coconut oil, natural sweetener, which is stevia and erythritol, peanut butter, Organic coconut flour, strawberries, roasted peanuts, jelly, baking powder, xanthan gum, salt, and natural flavor. That's probably why I like it so much because they went strawberry jelly and it is not so grape. Good. It almost tastes like grape though. It is good. It's not like an overdue strawberry. I actually think that it. The you strawberry, want to eat that right now? I want to eat it so bad. It actually tastes more like a raspberry to me. It is just strawberry really even. good. It's really good. Okay, let's talk about number two. Does it keto based on nutrition label? Since we have this one right here, let's talk about peanut butter and jelly. So for the peanut butter and jelly, there's 310 um, calories in a serving. Which is a whole donut. A whole donut, Which of is course. very filling. Like you can easily split this. Oh, yeah. So there's 28 grams of fat. It looks like nine grams of protein, 21 total carbohydrates, but there's four dietary fiber and 13 sugar alcohol. So again, Excuse me. I love that most of the carbohydrates, they're coming from the coconut flour and then 13 grams of sugar alcohol. Right. I much would prefer to deduct sugar alcohols than deduct fiber. It means they're not playing a fiber game. 
They taste delicious. So it can be done in the right way. Yep. And so let's get over to the bagels. So the bagel, we had the habanero. So the cheddar yep. habanero one has got 310 calories per bagel, 25 grams of fat, 14 grams of protein. That's impressive. Um, and nine total carbohydrates, four diet, or I'm sorry, six, six dietary fiber and no sugar alcohols. So you're looking at three net carbs. And if you all of carbs. that fiber is coming from the coconut flour and the flax seeds. So again, nothing bad in you. Here's what I love. We mentioned this in our other video, and this is why we decided we were going to do this again. Mm -hmm. um, we mentioned in our other video, they used to have their nutrition label where they were deducting already for you from the total carbs, the erythritol. We suggested not to do that. Let us do the math ourselves because some of us want to just look at a total carb. And they did that. They changed Thank all of their nutrition labels. So their total carbs actually represents total carbs. And then it's up to you to do the math if you want to do a net carb protocol. I love so that. So for example, us who does more of a net carb with a total carb cap when we're having a dessert day, and this would be yeah. a dessert day, I can feel comfortable saying that, okay, if I have this donut, which is four net carbs, but it's a total of, what was it, 20, how many? 21. 21 totally total fine. carbohydrates, but my limit for my carbohydrates in total is 30 to 40. It allows me to still have We're some good. eggs, still have a little bit of broccoli if I want, still have a loaded broccoli when we get over to Texas Roadhouse. Yep. We're all good. I love the fact that they changed the nutrition label. This is a dessert that's supporting my plans, not actively working against it. Yes. So number three, how do they taste? I'm going to let you take this one. Okay, so for the bagel, it tastes delicious flavor-wise. Again, it is a bagel muffin. Do not go into this thinking to yourself that you're going to have the mouthfeel of a, a bagel. Otherwise, you're going to be disappointed. Yeah. But if... I, I think the closest thing I could say it comes to is maybe like an English muffin type of inside a little bit like that. And muffiny. It's mm -hmm. very muffiny. But delicious taste, totally the authentic flavor of a, of a bagel. And I'm going to say it has the best texture of any keto bread type product that I have had so far. I mean, yeah. there are a lot of different ones we've tried and I like them, but this yeah. does not have that chewiness that some of them have. It really is... I think they've nailed it. It is a cross between a bagel and a biscuit when it comes to texture and consistency. And this has so much like great, you taste the peanut, you've got the crunch, you also have the peanut butter. The jelly is delightful. It's got and a great- And not overdoing it so you're not like killing yourself with carbs and no, strawberry. And they're not trying to like make this like a sugar bomb in your mouth. No. So I think they have the just the right amount of sweetness. It's delicious and there's no wonky aftertaste or cooling effect. Now I will say again, these are the actually the donuts I like, you know, but cake donuts. these are cake donuts. Don't think that you're getting those deep fried donuts. These are the cake donuts. So if you think back as a kid, we would go to Dunkin' Donuts. So I always got like those chocolate glazed or the blueberry donuts. That's More like that. that's where you're at. You're not at those Krispy Kreme style donuts. Right. I like these better, especially because honestly, we've each had a quarter and it was very filling. Very I could good. easily see cutting this in half and splitting it taking my time and enjoying it, and it's gonna be satisfying as opposed to just like a puff of air that's been deep fried. Yeah. I like these better. Now next up is how much does it cost? So number four, how much do they cost? So again, I'm on their website right now. They have a few different options, but basically it's $54 for pick your own dozen. So you can get some bagels, some donuts, however you want. They also usually have some kind of different deals. Um, they have a coffee bundle. So recently I know they had a thing where you got six free. So just go subscribe to their newsletter. And again, we are not affiliated with them at all. We don't make any money off of them, but they did give us a coupon code, which we, again, we don't make any money, but we just said, hey, do you have a coupon code that if somebody wants to get it, they could save a little bit of money. So you can use that coupon code. That's gonna save you 10%, I believe. Uh, but $54, so I don't know what that works out to be, like four or five bucks you know, piece. Maybe take off some of the shipping. Yeah, so uh, awesome. Number five, would we recommend it? Very highly. I think that this is delicious. 
you know, obviously it's, you know, you have to think of a, a tick about it. It's not a dollar donut. Yes. So I think that I would save this for, for a special occasion. Like if we want to have brunch or we have want to have a romantic, like, you know, uh, breakfast, I think that this is a really fun thing to do. If you've got some grandkids coming to visit and you want to give them a sweet treat without like giving them a sugar bomb. Mm -hmm. I think this is the way to go. And I definitely love the savory options. I honestly think that I would be reaching for that even more so because I would love to have that with our chili or take it with us on a camping trip. I just think it's fun. Well, speaking of savory options, make sure you subscribe to the channel and you hit the bell button for notifications because in an upcoming vlog, we're going to try their other savory option, which is seven inch pizza crust how fun is that? already made so you can like have a little pizza making party date night so now for me i absolutely would recommend it but it's funny because when you say costs are they a little expensive they're expensive if you're comparing them to dunkin donuts but they're not expensive if you're comparing them what do you pay when you run into starbucks for one of their little breakfast things which yeah. is not very healthy what do you pay if you go to a local bakery when you want to get a cupcake I mean, they're not cheap anymore. They're three to four dollars when you go into places. I grew up where you could go to a little bakery and get a black and white cookie and it was a dollar. Ain't the case anymore, right? It's not. So, you know, at four or five dollars and you're getting good clean ingredients, you're not getting all of the sugar, you're not getting all the preservatives that's in a lot of the stuff that you're going to purchase. I don't have a problem with it. It's not expensive or higher price because it's keto it's higher price because it's cleaner ingredients and it's a lot of fun i thought that this was super creative this is really creative so that's going to be today's video let us know down in the comment section if you've ever tried crave bakery and if you have let us know what your favorite flavor is because we haven't tried them all yeah but i definitely plan on trying some of them i, I saw a peanut butter cup one listed up there fun so uh please do us a favor if you like this video we have a bunch of other videos you could take a look at and i'm going to leave the link for them right down there also make sure you take a look at our most recent video which i'm going to put right over here but whether you head this way or you head this way don't forget to head this way subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time we taste something delicious you'll be alerted to it until next time bye, bye.